am loving this dress. I'm in Chicago and we literally just got snow last night, but I've already fast forward to spring and summer fashion. So yeah, if you guys want to see which dress this is, go ahead and stick around. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shatoka. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. So today's video is going to be a pattern review on this beautiful dress that I have on. I actually made a dress and a shirt using the same pattern and I love how both of them turned out. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So today's pattern review is going to be of Macaws 7778. And this is an oldie, but it's a goodie for sure. And I wish I would have gotten to this one sooner, but you know i kind of have an overload of patterns so i was like you know what let me just go through my book like i you know usually do and let me find an old one to pull out and i'm so glad that i did so originally when i wanted to make this pattern i had a different fabric so i went to joann's actually i got this fabric last year and i only picked up uh, about a yard and a half maybe two yards and I was like, this would be so cute in a flowy type of fabric, but I didn't have enough. So I went back and Joanne still had it. So this is, I guess, the second season that they had it. And I really loved it. It's like a stretch, um, like a crepe fabric, but I do love this. And I was bummed when I did the whole dress and it didn't fit. So I, the way I put it together, it was so nice. Like all the finishes were really nice that I didn't feel right unpicking it and trying to take it in. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna gift it and I'll just figure out something else to do with the remainder of this fabric because I love it so much. So I'm just gonna gift that one. But I really love how the dress came together. So that night after I did it, I was like, let me just go in my stash and cut another dress out. I literally went that night and found this fabric, which, I don't even remember where I got this fabric, guys. It's like, it was just in my stash and I had just enough to make the dress. So I'm so glad I knocked it out. So I cut it out that night and then I ended up sewing it together with a shirt as well the next day. So really love how it came together. It is, I would say, an average pattern. I wouldn't say this one is beginner because it is a lined bodice and it does have like the princess seam. So there's quite a... Um, bit of steps in the pattern, actually like 21 steps for the version that I did. I did view A. So view A is just a dress. I did not put the straps on the dress. I did use the straps for the shirt though. So there's A through D, four views for this. And it is just described as like a Mrs. How did this? A Mrs. Dress and Romper. So there is a romper on here that I think I want to do as well with some modifications, but so cute and like I said, I don't know why I didn't get around to this pattern sooner. So with view A, there is an invisible zipper that you need and it says a hook and eye, but I didn't use a hook and eye and usually I don't. I'll just take my zipper all the way up to the top. So that's what I did for this one. So I had gotten the envelope for 14 to 22 with this pattern and Based on the fitted garment measurements, it said that I should cut an 18, which is what I did with the first one, but it was big. It's still, I don't know if it was just like the wearable ease because I did use the recommended um, 5H seam allowance, but it still was really gaping in the chest area. The bottom was pretty good because it's just a full like gathered skirt. That was fine, but the top was so big. So I was like, you know what? I almost took it down to a 14, but I decided to go ahead and take it to a 16. And I like how it fits. It's still a little bit more room at the top. So even if I gained a few pounds, I would still be able to wear this dress. But I wanted to put this belt on to just cinch it a little bit more and just give it more of like the hourglass look. So I have on the size 16 for this version. And I also would say use the recommended fabrics for this, which would be your uh, crepes, your linen, your cotton blends, your chalets, and sable knits because of the gathering of the skirt. And then also I feel like with this, um, the ease in it, I would say definitely use a flowy fabric. And then you want it to be able to like flow in the wind. It's such a cute dress. I'm so glad that I ended up making it. Well, dress and shirt. So for view A, there are five pattern pieces 
However, I only used four for the dress because I did use straps, but for the shirt, I did use all five. And I ended up doing them simultaneously. So I cut them all out um, at the same time, the shirt and the dress and sewed them up that way. So it took me a couple of days, but I feel like if you were doing it just all in one go, you can knock it out in maybe three and a half to four hours. So like I said, I think this is more so average, not beginner, because you do have like the lying bodice, the invisible zipper, and you have a lot of gathering in the um, skirt portion of the dress. So I would say average. Um, for me, I decided to go a little bit shorter with the dress. So the dress, the skirt portion of the dress is 24 inches. I cut off three inches. I tried it on and I just was like, we, we want her to be, you know, a little bit shorter. So I cut three inches off of the dress. For the shirt, I actually made the bottom portion be 10 inches. I held the bodice up to me and just kind of measured down how far I would want the top to go. And then that was like around 10 inches. So I just went with 10 and just did a double hem. It's exactly the same construction. It's just basically I almost cut the skirt portion in half to make a top. Um, with the shirt, I did actually use a black stash fabric also. So I didn't even have to go out and buy anything because my stash, like I've decided, you know what? You gotta start sewing down this stash because you have so much fabric in here. And then I actually wanna try to keep up with where I'm getting things. And because I have a stash that spans from years, I don't have a clue unless I go into Joann's like this particular fabric and see like, oh, they still have it. Like that's where I got it from. So I like to be able to tell people where I get my fabric because I don't mind sharing that at all. Like to me, like if you're creative, like you don't have to worry about somebody else with the same fabric that you have you're gonna do it differently wear it differently so it's fine so i'm gonna i'm like committing myself to sewing down my stash um the only thing is sometimes i only bought one and a half to two yards of fabric so i'm limited on what i can do hence why i was like you know what i'm gonna make this a shirt so i might just end up making a bunch of different shirts and like little projects that i can get this stash sold down because i want to go fabric shopping but i i really can't justify <laughs> <laughs> buy more fabric because I have so much of it already so yeah let's get back into the pattern review so there are 21 steps like I said I would say it was average um it took me a couple of days I took my time so it could be really nicely finished um but I love how it turned out it looks like the pattern envelope with the exception of the length of it um I would say that definitely use like a flowy fabric because whenever you're doing like gathering you don't want it to look too stiff so i love how this one would be really flowy in the wind I, I really love how it came together um also i would say i'm gonna make it again for sure i definitely think i want to make the little romper that comes with it as well it's just a really well made um dress and the steps are really straightforward so i don't think you'll have any hookups there um but yeah like i always say when i'm doing a pattern review if you guys have any questions about construction or any of the steps anything any hiccups go ahead and leave them in the comment section but i would definitely recommend this pattern again i made a size 16 for this dress and for my shirt so again that's it guys i just want to share this quick review of this cute dress if you love content like this and are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and also hit the like button for me and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when i upload a new video so until next time bye